What's going on guys? Noobs here and I'm joined yet again by returning champion Cthulhu. Oh, returning champion. Yes. Champion of what exactly? Uh, returning guests? Yes. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? I'm good. Merry Christmas or yeah. Happy Christmas if you prefer. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone who doesn't celebrate Christmas. Indeed. Hello everyone. What are we doing today? Uh, I don't know. This is your channel. Oh, you yeah. tell me. We are doing, first of all, 2017 gonna check on my predictions from last year see how I did okay so that'll be the whole part of the video where I make fun of you yes and then we'll do our 2018 predictions excellent which you have some and I have plenty you have plenty I'm crazy. I have a few yeah okay so. so you're ready to hear what I predicted yeah. last year all right refresh my memory so it was I mean we had some switch info there was a lot of rumors at the time so here's what I was predicting right so this would have been so just before we start this yeah. would have been a year ago yes so this would have been your just before the big just before the big reveal or yes, just after b before okay cool okay I predicted a 250 USD price okay that was slightly incorrect in the US and very incorrect in Canada <laughs> um, we'll be able to log in with existing Nintendo <laughs> account basic Nintendo network ID details will carry over like friends and me's well, you do log in with your kind Nintendo of, account. Yeah, kind of. But, but uh, none of that other stuff carries <laughs> over. I, a lot of this was virtual console related. Oh, no. Yeah, so this is all wrong. <laughs> oh, no. I said it was going to be a slow trickle. I said you'd be able to upgrade your VC games uh, purchases from your Wii U and your 3DS. All of that is... Slow trickle. This very slow trickle. Faucet's <laughs> uh, oh, off. <laughs> uh, I also said GameCube games would come to VC. Um, I was really obsessed, uh, purchases made through Nintendo account will actually be tied to that account. Now, I was looking into this. Your Switch purchases are tied to your account, mm -hmm. but you still can't just, like, log out of one Switch and, and log, log into, into another, another one. No. Um, I said there would be no awful transfer system, like, going from Wii to Wii U. Well, that is technically true in that there was no transfer yeah, system. Yeah, but now there is. Between Switches. Yeah. Not, like, upgrade. Oh, yeah, not upgrade. No, no, no. Uh, oh, I said Nintendo voice chat will finally be realized. Boy, I mean, you got to give me that one. Technically correct. Te I mean, <laughs> technically. Te but, but they only use it, it's only in Splatoon right now, and, and it's I, it's cumbersome. I could I never have imagined the solution that they came up with. I'd rather, I just, I'd rather use Discord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I said the, oh boy, this is wrong. Oh, the no. NES Mini will be readily available in stores by March. Instead, it was killed off. Yeah. <laughs> For uh, now. <laughs> For now. Nintendo will finally get its marketing act together, which is true. I think, yeah, I think marketing they is really They really nailed the up. marketing mm -hmm. on the Switch. Uh, I predicted the Switch will actually sell well, but not Phenomenon territory, which is actually more like Phenomenon mm -hmm. territory. Yeah, um, they just released the numbers late last million. week, early this week. Ten million in the first nine months. Which, by the time we're up to 12 months, it'll, it'll be, be around Wii U numbers. Yeah, and the Wii U sold 13.9 million in its lifetime, life. so yeah. we're going to see some great numbers, I hope, from Nintendo. I predicted 3DS-like sales minus the crazy emergency price drop. I don't know how it compares to 3DS, but it's, it's doing well. Yeah. And no, no, no price, price drop. drop. So no need for one. I don't. Yeah. Later in the year, we'll learn that Retro is making an original IP game, while Monster Games is making a third Donkey Kong Country Returns game. Well, we still don't know what Retro's working on. What did Retro refresh my memory? What did they work on? Metroid Prime games, oh, Donkey well, Kong Country Returns games. Metroid Prime Four was announced as yeah, in but, development. Oh, yes, but, but we didn't say by they, who, it was right? A surprise so, developer. Okay. We'll get the SNES Mini for Christmas next year, and they'll actually make enough of them. Well, which they've done you know, they've okay. Done, yeah, not... pretty well. I was in a store the other day, and yeah. they were unpacking like probably I think they had one case of six of them. There you so go. I, they're, they're still, still delivering them. They're still arriving. Yeah. So and people are buying them. I mean, I think ideally there would be even more, but they're doing pretty well. I'll yeah, give myself would, that one. It would be one that you walk in and it's on the shelf. It's not right. like I walk in and fingers crossed it's on the shelf, right? right? right. So. Uh, by the end, uh, by the end of the year, it will be obvious that the Switch has replaced both Nintendo's home console and handheld lines with 3DS software drying up after announced titles are out. Yeah, I think yeah. that's pretty fair, especially because just before the launch of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, 
uh, there was a developer interview, and they said with these last two Pokemon titles, they've really right. pushed the limit of the 3DS hardware. So and I that's the sign, right? When Pokemon moves yeah, over, that's I don't it. Know, I don't know if I would necessarily say that the 3DS is going to quote-unquote dry out. But I don't yeah, think, I think, I think a lot of, support, yeah, though. I think a lot of main titles will yeah. be pushed to Switch oh, yeah. because of its yeah. I mean, duality. I'm sure there's still lots of Japanese developers on 3DS, but at Nintendo, I think they've moved mm-hmm. on. Yeah. Uh, and I said, we'll be hearing rumors of a portable Focus Switch model by the end of the year to be released March 2018. That is nowhere in sight. All right, those were my predictions. Okay. I did... You didn't do so great last no, year, I No, I did think. pretty bad. <laughs> All right. Now, before we get into our predictions, I have a little preview for oh, you. Okay. Now, one, we've heard rumors that really it's a leak. EA leaked that there's going to be a January Direct. Yeah. So look forward to that, kids. Here's uh, just a few of the games we've heard are coming next year. Bayonetta 2 slash one, and 1. 2 and 1, yeah. Uh, uh, Kirby Star Allies. Yeah, which looks... Is that... Which one? Is that the one for the Switch? Yeah. Okay, because I don't think the trailer has the subtitle. I think it's I, just I Kirby. saw it on Wikipedia. Yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, that's for Q1. Uh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. That was just announced at... Yep. Wasn't that announced at PSX of all places? I don't know. Very recently yeah. announced, though. Uh, Mega Man 11. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, Mega Man... We can stop there, because that's all I want to talk about. But that's... It's predictions. <laughs> we already know that's happening. Mega Man Legacy Collections and the X Games are all coming. We don't know what forms they'll take. No. Uh, Dragon Quest XI is coming, I think, just in Japan. I don't know about here. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if it's just in Japan, yeah. if you know enough of the language... That's true. Because the Switch is region-free, so... Good point. Uh, a new Fire Emblem game is coming. Did they... They've said it's coming. Yeah, They're working they? on it. I don't remember that. Project Octopath Traveler. Oh, Very excited oh for that. God. Yeah, I know. This so... Demo was so good. <laughs> Best demo I've have... ever played. Bravely Default and Bravely Second, as I've said several yeah. times, are my favorite 3DS RPGs. Yep. So, and Octopath Traveler is being developed by the same team at Square Enix. Yeah. So I'm just like, please. Also, for the record, I'm just gonna say at this point, don't don't change the name. Just call it Project Octopath Traveler. You like at this change point, the name. at this you point, you can't have the word project in your title. Sure you can. <laughs> sure you can. Hatsune Miku Project just, Diva. Oh, yeah. They call it Octopath <laughs> Traveler, honestly. Just drop Project. Just, yeah, just don't change the name. Name uh, it Octopath Traveler. There's the, the Travis Strikes Back No More mm-hmm. Heroes game. Uh, Wolfenstein 2 port. Mm-hmm. The Yoshi game. Yeah, which looks so cute. Yeah, very good. And then further out, so we don't know. Those were all, at least theoretically, 2018. Mm-hmm. But we've also heard, like, there's an Ace Attorney game coming. Bayonetta 3. Metroid Prime 4. New Pokemon. And Shin Megami Tensei 5. Yeah, Shin Megami Tensei 5, I think, was also a recent announcement. Very right? recent. Yeah. Announced to be an exclusive, even. Mm. Well, yeah. All right. So that is my little preview. Let's... That's some of what we can look forward to on okay. Switch in 2018. Cool. Uh, now let's get into the predictions. Am okay. I just going to say a couple and you'll you say a couple? You start and then... You'll yeah. jump in. Yeah. Okay. So I predict... He's got notes. I don't, so... <laughs> I predict we'll have a January Direct. No! <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah, they didn't do one... So I agree with you. Um, obviously, because of the EA link leak, leak mm-hmm. um, but they didn't do one for December. And like with that list you just uh, read off for us, yeah. there's a lot of titles in 2018 that have had coming in 2018. Right, kind they of need to solidify subtitles, this. so they need yeah. to let us know when. Yeah. So kind of outline the year, right? especially after the year Nintendo has had with yes. the Switch, with everything projected to come out in 2017, launched in 2017. Came yeah. So um, they, I'm, that's exactly what I, I want. The same thing again, where they're like, "Here's all." Well, not necessarily all, but like, here's the lineup, and these games are actually going to come out this year. Yeah. That that was blew my mind that Nintendo <laughs> actually did that. Um, and I also predict as part of this. We're just we're gonna see that steady stream of games continue from 2017. Yeah. I mean, it might not be quite as strong, but I think just that constant flow of first party games plus ramping uh, third party and indie games yeah, as third, well. The indie support has been yeah. amazing, and there's a bunch of indie games that were in that first Nindies Direct yeah. that they did that still haven't come out, and there's no information. It's like, what's going on, y'all? Yeah. Also, more to come. I hope so. So here's a third party prediction for you. I think the success of Doom will start a frenzy of 
FPS ports on Switch. So when you say FPS ports, do you think that that means we're going to start seeing things like Call of Duty and Battlefield? Do you think EA yes. will come to play with Star Wars? Mm, I don't know about don't, Star you don't Wars. Know, you don't know about Star I, I think I think those <laughs> Battlefront games are too much for Switch. Yeah, anymore. probably. Um, it would be. I feel like though something Battlefront or Battlefront adjacent yeah. would be a good way for Nintendo to test their online their paid online service That's a little a bit point. better because Splatoon is a Splatoon 2 is a great game and it's mm-hmm. got a great you know a great player base yeah. um, in terms of numbers but I don't know I don't necessarily know if that'll be a good representation of how many people are actually going to want to use and pay for the online service yeah we'll get to those predictions by the way but that is interesting you point that out I didn't think of anything but like people often say you know Star Wars is so at home on Nintendo system so many people associated the N64 with Star Wars games. There mm-hmm. were a ton of them. And, of course, we had the Rogue Squadron 2 and 3 on GameCube. Amazing games. So they really ought to do something on Star Wars. I just don't know if they actually will or not. Lego Star Wars. You know what? Here's a prediction right now. <laughs> the I predict this, like, every year as well. Oh, the Rogue Squadron trilogy that was completed on Wii and never released will make its return on Switch. Okay. <laughs> uh that was just that was right off the cuff. That's not in my notes. Uh, so I predict that in addition to the games we know are coming in 2018, Metro and Prime 4 and the new Pokemon will also make it. You think? Th- I think um, Pokemon will definitely be a Christmas release. If oh, it comes yeah. out in 2018, we're gonna see Pokemon tail end. That'll be what carries oh, yeah. Nintendo through the holiday season. I don't think Metroid's gonna come out in no. 2018. That's that's where I'm gonna stand on it. I think. Um, whatever team is developing Metroid, man, I and can't es- wait to find out. And especially making. Nintendo, yeah. they have a lot to make up for in terms of Metroid. Mm. Yeah, that's, um, well, Samus Returns was good. a great stepping yeah. stone yeah. in kind of uh, getting fans to uh, forgive <laughs> kind of the missteps that have been taken with the Metroid uh, series in the last few um, last few years, decades. So I think. Prime 4 is yeah. going to be one that is going... It's not going to end up in development hell. Yeah. It's just, just gonna, going to be in development for they're gonna take slightly their time, longer. Because they got a lot like, to prove. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like Breath, um, uh, Breath of the Wild. Breath yeah. of the Wild was announced, what, three or four years? Yeah. But that was delayed many times. And right. I feel like but Nintendo's done with it was delays. De- and I think it was delayed purposely so they could launch it on the Switch. Oh, for sure. But I just feel in terms of how long it took to develop Breath of the Wild... Yeah. Even though they started on one console oh, and moved it to another, I you think, think that's that? kind of I don't maybe I don't think three or four years, but I don't think we'll see Metroid till okay. early okay. mid twenty nineteen. You know I think between the two, I think definitely Metroid Prime Four, Pokemon might not come out until March next year. You don't think till March? March, March twenty nineteen. Nineteen. Mm, but I don't know. I'm going to be optimistic and say twenty eighteen. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. <laughs> um, some unannounced games: Smash Four Switch, yeah, obviously. Yeah. I think so. And I, and now that uh, Pocket Camp is out, definitely Animal Crossing. This they, is totally the year for Animal Crossing. They didn't do an Animal Crossing for the Wii U, no. which I feel like with the Wii U, you know, I feel like the Animal Crossing would have been at home on the Wii U. It was the yeah. perfect system for an Animal Crossing game. That's true. But the Switch is even better. Again, you've got that portability. Yeah. Let us bring in our characters from New Leaf into the Switch version. They let you do it between the Wii and the... Did between City Folk and New Leaf oh, you could. They? I'm pretty sure. It was one of them you could do cross-transfer. I promise you they will do something cross-compatible with the mobile game. Hmm, maybe, Guaranteed. Maybe. I that, think that that's be, where they'll... Yeah, that might, be, that might be why all of these, you know, why the Switch apps are going on the phone. Like yeah. your parental controls and your voice chat and your yeah. Splatnet. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. That might I be. I think that's what's going to happen. Cool. I predict this every year. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3 from Monster Games. It's going to happen. Uh, I predict that Next Level Games is either working on Luigi's Mansion 3 or Mario Strikers. Because they're going to want some online games for the mm-hmm. online service. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm thinking maybe Strikers. Yeah. But I really feel like they probably, after Luigi's Mansion... Two did so well. Yeah. The one to do three. I think you're right in going with Super Mario Strikers or some sort of Mario sports game. Um, I don't know anything about how well. What do we go? We got FIFA and NBA right now for sports games yeah. on the Switch. Mm-hmm. I don't know what their sales numbers are like. Yeah. But I don't feel like it's. I love seeing these other developers step up and put their titles on the Switch. 
I don't know if the Switch was necessarily the right move for these sports titles. Um, yeah, I don't think they're seeing the kind of success that... But I think the Mario ones will, especially oh, yeah. if they add online like, really. capability. Next level games, they're the Strikers guys. Mm-hmm. Their games, their Mario sports games have been very good. Whereas like some of these tennis games and things, not so good, right? Yeah. So if anybody's going to do it right, it's going to be those guys. Yeah. So I think there's a high likelihood there. Uh, let's see. I predict Grezzo is working on Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask 3D port to Switch. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that's it for like actual game okay. game announcements. Um, so I have some game predictions. Okay, this is what I'm I for. think with uh, going back to E3 with the announcement, the surprise announcement of Metroid Prime 4, yeah. uh, I think we're going to see another quote-unquote dead IP come back. Oh, um, good. Okay. There has been some talk, I want to say straight from the mouth of Reggie, that the Switch is going to be kind of a resurrection machine for some of these older IPs. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what they're going to be. Uh, I have a strong feeling for F-Zero, actually. I yeah. feel like F-Zero, I feel like F-Zero, especially with um, the handheld mode of the Switch, yeah. I think that's one that they're going to want to put on the Switch. Yeah, I so. hope you're right. And then for kind of a more third-party um, prediction yeah. in terms of development, Golden Sun 3. Ooh, Ooh Golden Sun no. 4, sorry. It'll be 4 because 3 was but almost that's not, that's, DS. But that's um, Intelligent Systems. No, that's Camelot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Camelot, okay, okay, It's yeah. weird if you look at Camelot's Wikipedia page, for the first few years, there was a Golden Sun, yeah. and then there was a Mario sports game, yeah. and then there was a Golden Sun. And then there were these guys? Exactly, right? Yeah. And I think, and if not a Golden Sun 4, I think a Golden Sun upscale for the Switch. Oh. Because there is there is actually a lot of fan demand for Golden Sun. I agree. Yeah. Isaac was highly voted in, uh, in, for, in for Smash Bros, yeah. and he didn't make it in. So I think it would be really interesting if Nintendo and Camelot went back and brought Golden Sun back for it because they're it. great RPGs, right? Yep, so, yep. Um, <laughs> and I, I'm going to save one for when we talk about Online. potential virtual console stuff. Oh, virtual! Oh, you know that's coming, <laughs> and you know exactly what I'm going to talk about. So. <laughs> now, I predict we will have no new hardware, like as in no Switch revisions this year. I think we'll just keep getting more colors. Yeah, I will say more color Joy Cons. Yeah. Um, I definitely agree with that. There may be some weird kind of peripherals that may come out. Yes, like, totally. Um, I definitely think there'll be some sort of, some I don't know. GameCube-shaped Smash Joy-Cons. <laughs> no, maybe. That would be kind of cool. It's possible. But <laughs> it's I, I agree there will be controllers, but no, like, just straight-up revision yeah. of the hardware. And going along that vein as well, because we didn't get it in North America, the game yeah. didn't release in North America, although the sales have been very well, it might. But I don't think we're going to see any special edition Switch consoles either, like mm. Japan saw with the Monster Hunter right. uh, Double Cross for Switch, right. um, where they actually had um, engravings on the dock. And I really, I think that was really the only kind of special thing about it. But we didn't get anything like that here in North yeah. America. Um, and I don't think we will. I don't think that's something that Nintendo will approach. And when you think about it, with the with the Wii U, they only did the one special edition. It was just yeah, the Zelda just one, Just a right? little. And it was very minor. Right, which is exactly what the yeah. Monster Hunter one was. Yeah. So I don't think that'll be a, a venue that Nintendo okay. approaches. So. Yeah, they but generally don't. tons either. of Joy-Con colors, I'm hoping. Oh, yeah. like It's going to go crazy, oh my guys. God. <laughs> uh, and speaking of no new hardware, that extends to classic editions. I, I mean, we know they're bringing back the NES mm-hmm. Classic. So I think they'll do that, and I don't think they'll have a new one this you year. You don't think they'll do a 64 this year? No, and here's why. Because the team that does those, Nerd, they're going to be working on Switch classic game selection. Mm, That's okay. my prediction. Okay. I don't think we'll get a Nintendo 64 at all. After really stopping mm-hmm. and like thinking about it, after the yeah. last time we kind of spoke yeah. about it, I think with the 64, um, the biggest draw for it was all of those multiplayer games. Goldeneye especially. Mm-hmm. And I think as if it comes out, if it doesn't have Goldeneye, the well, demand won't be there. Well, there's so many like, hurdles, right? right. Between and I think, Goldeneye, the rare games, mm-hmm. the bulky controllers being four controllers. Yeah. There's so many things to yeah. overcome there. So my prediction is that we will not see a Nintendo 64 classic. classic not even in, tw- not in 2018, not in 2019. I don't oh. think we'll ever see one. I think oh, they're going to stop with these retro so, games. Do you have any other classic edition 
predictions? Like we spoke last time in the yeah. Super Nintendo video, I think we'll see a handheld classic edition. Yeah. Like a Game but, Boy yeah, classic. Yeah, like a, a Game Boy Classic, Game Boy Color Classic. Again, I really hope they just do a combo with that one. Oh, I'm sure they would. So um, you think that's this year? Maybe. Maybe. I don't okay. know. I don't want to say that it's a prediction yeah. because I don't really, I don't feel confident enough in being like, they're going to, you know, this is something they should make. Yeah, I think we'll get that eventually, but I feel like they're going to take this year off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aside from bringing back the NES. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, of course, in the January Direct, we're finally going to get the online details. I, I don't, that's hardly even a prediction. It's the free <laughs> space there. Uh, I predict the, you'll actually start paying in March. Uh, and, you know, they've said, of course, the subscription will include these online class of games, right? Mm-hmm. And they've said there'll be NES games. They said they'll have online play. And they've reversed their opinion, uh, what they said on this. They said you'd actually keep them as yeah. well, didn't they? Well, I think they've basically scrapped all that. Here's what I'm predicting. Okay. These games won't have online. I'm predicting uh, this. W- there will be no virtual console. It's all going to be through this subscription service. And I predict that the rate of release will actually not suck. Not suck. <laughs> because nerd, if I'm right, nerd would be working on this, and they've done very well mm-hmm. with the classics, giving you a lot of games, very well emulated, lots of options in the emulators. So I'm predicting it's going to be just like one game a month from NES, Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, and even GameCube. Okay. That's my prediction. Okay, so that's your prediction. So I'm going to touch a little bit on this right now. I'm going to go into virtual console predictions. Oh, good. Virtual console, I don't think, is scrapped. I think virtual console is still going to come out. Okay, separate from the online. Separate from the online. I think virtual console will still be a thing. Yeah. And if we go back a few weeks to Capcom's uh, Mega Man anniversary stream. Yep. And this is something that I've been very particular about if you listen to my podcast, free free advertising space right there, um, is that in the announcement for the Mega Man X games, Capcom chose not to use the word collection. That's true. So I think the uh, Nintendo Switch Virtual Console is going yeah. to launch with at least one Mega Man X game. I think that's going to be their venue into opening the Virtual Console. Oh, okay. And if it doesn't launch with a Mega Man X yeah. game, Reggie's going to make good on his promise, and he's going to give us Mother 3 finally. Where's Mother 3, Reggie? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I, I will also say, in my prediction as well, Mother 3 is coming <laughs> in 2018. Mark it. Oh, and I also predict that this online service will give us cloud saves. Ooh. Because right now you cannot get your saves off your Switch. Right. And it's so scary. You can't back up your Zelda save file. Yeah, yeah my 100-hour Zelda save file. Terrifying. So I think that'll be one of the hooks for the online service. Mm-hmm. And I also predict, as I do every year from for the last like 10 years probably, that we will get proper account system, which I know we're getting close. <laughs> But you still can't log out of one Switch, yeah. log into another one, and just download your stuff. And yeah, it's the same with the 3DS as well. You can only have your account connected to one 3DS at a right. time, which is really frustrating. Well, and, and not, but also like if you if your Switch is stolen, yeah, you have to contact Nintendo and they'll move your stuff over. Yeah. But you can't just deactivate that system and do, yeah. set up a new Switch. You have to work through Nintendo. Mm-hmm. That's my prediction. They'll actually they'll fix actually that. do cloud cloudsets. Yeah, that would be really nice. I mean. I think everybody else does cloud saves now. Everybody so. else in all other realms <laughs> of software does it that mm-hmm. way. Yeah. Come on, so. Nintendo. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. Um, so that is it for my predictions, yeah, at least. Do you I have think, any more? No, I think you and I share a similar way of thinking, especially yeah. in terms of predictions. Yeah. Now, on Monday, yeah, people can hear you and I yeah. talking Talk about, about our top games of 2017. Yes, indeed, on your on podcast. On my podcast, on Galaxy. So What's the full name of it? It's just Galaxy. Galaxy. Yeah. I will link Please do. the feed, and then on Monday you can go yeah. find it, guys. We'll be talking about yeah. favorite games. Mm-hmm. That we played this year, so... All right. A little bit different, so yeah. yeah, it's that time of the year. Everyone, it sure is. Time, it's the big time year to end. wrap everything up. That, I love your end for this kind of stuff. Honestly, <laughs> I, the predictions video is always my favorite video of the year. <laughs> and with that, thank you once again for joining me, well, Q Thank you for having me. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Let us know in the comments <laughs> what are your predictions for 2018, and how did you do last year if you did some predictions? <laughs> Let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.